entrepreneur making millions of dollars a year. Um, there wasn't anything that I wanted for or couldn't have. I was about, you know, let's see how big I can build a house or, you know, I was competing with the Joneses and my Joneses were billionaires. And then along came cancer. Cancer was a huge wake-up call for me and it's my obligation to, to go out there and help those that can't help themselves. All of these organizations that I was very interested in raising money for, we created these six-minute infomercials and I sent them out to my guys on Wall Street. We were able to uh, build a colonoscopy suite as a result of that gift from Dee Dee. Some of the other money that she raised was used to help people pay for mammograms, sonograms, and other diagnostic exams related to breast cancer. In the end, many lives were saved. Mary, for instance, when she was first diagnosed, it was great for me to be able to go to her and give her comfort. You know, these are what they're going to look like. This is what they, they feel like. Just to have somebody sit down and say to you, well, look, here they are. <laughs> You're going to be fine. And not only fine, they look really good. <laughs> so it gives you the confidence to say, oh, okay, this isn't, you know, it's not so bad. What happens if, if, I, if I die? How are the boys going to remember me? I started filming. I just, I wanted them to have those moments. I think it's a good thing to do because you can give other people that have breast cancer other advice. She likes helping people and she's always, she always be there for me and John and we love my mom and that's why we'd be there for her and she'd be there for us. Part of me created the the documentary out of wanting to film my experience through the reconstructive process. I never imagined that it would turn into an actual documentary, much less than an HBO documentary. I'm hoping to reach the masses and say, hey, start checking now you know, so we can save your life.